On this channel, I talk a lot about making games, but rarely about playing them. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my all-time favorite games made with Unity. These are games that I personally really enjoyed playing, and some of them are iconic games that I feel have made an impact on the games industry. So I hope you'll enjoy my picks of favorite games, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now let's begin with Inside. This is a game that's all about atmosphere. The game acknowledges this by putting you straight into the game world right as you open it. There's no UI, no tutorial or menu to disturb the experience. The player is presented only with the main character and the surrounding environment. Amazingly, you are never in doubt what your objective is and what tools you have at your disposal. The main instrument in establishing this atmosphere is the amazing sound design. When playing the game, the world feels large and abandoned. Most of the time, the only sounds you hear are from the main character himself. Another game that uses great sound design to establish atmosphere is Ori and the Blind Forest. However, unlike Inside, this game benefits from a very clear musical soundtrack with lots of layers and instruments. The environments in Ori and the Blind Forest are riddled with details and colors. The characters are beautiful, the levels are interesting and vibrant, but the main strength of the game is its gameplay. The controls are smooth and the mechanics are both deep and plentiful. I feel pretty comfortable saying that Ori and the Blind Forest is the best 2D platformer I've ever played. And speaking of platformers, I have to mention Thomas Was Alone. Released back in 2012, this game marked one of the first great platformers made with Unity. Much like Ori and the Blind Forest, the game features both a beautiful soundtrack and interesting gameplay. But the visual style of the game couldn't be more different. It's strikingly simple. One of the main elements of the game is the clever and often goofy narration. A glowy white... thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which of course, made it all the more enticing. To me, Thomas Was Alone stands as a symbol of how much you can do with something so simple. Another game that I simply love is Hearthstone. Busy night, but there's always room for another. Made by none other than Blizzard themselves, the game shares that certain level of quality and refinement that I personally associate with other Blizzard titles. Every time you open up Hearthstone, it offers a rich, complete experience. Every animation, every sound effect, every illustration on every card is beautiful. And when you bring all of these details together, you get a game which creates a wondrous and vibrant medieval setting. The gameplay is fun and competitive in a direct and easy way. So yeah, you can probably tell that I'm a huge Blizzard fan, and Hearthstone did not let me down. Oblivion! Now let's talk about Cuphead. You only need to take one quick look at the game to know what makes it so unique. Inspired by cartoons from the 1930s, Cuphead's art style is extremely refreshing. I mean, how can you not like this menu? This art style mixed with the run and gun gameplay from the 90s makes for a very original experience. The game is also immensely difficult and can definitely be frustrating at times. But I think the clever boss design and attention to detail makes it all worth it. Finally, you can't talk about hot Unity games without it getting super hot. Super hot. The game's key feature is that time moves with your player. This brings a new dimension to the FPS genre as the game focuses more on dodging your opponent's bullets rather than spraying them. You still need to shoot your enemies, which can be difficult enough, but the main challenge is to evade bullets coming from all angles. And again, the menu is just awesome. Last but not least, I want to mention Cities Skylines. Overall, this game is really impressive. Just the sheer amount of content they've managed to put in there is amazing. And to think they did all that with just two programmers. I really love how deep this game is. You have to consider all possible aspects about the development of a city. This is definitely the best city building game I've played to date. So that's pretty much my list of all-time favorite games made with Unity. There are so many great ones that it was really difficult to pick some to focus on. Here are some other ones that I really like. Of course, there are plenty of Unity games that I haven't played yet, which I'm really looking forward to, such as Kerbal Space Program, Monument Valley, and Firewatch. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't checked out some of these games, I definitely recommend you do so. Feel free to share your favorite Unity games in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in October, and a special thanks to Dudeman, Armin, Hans Haftun, Cole Cabral, Superman the Great, James P, Thomas Volley, Cyborg Mummy, Jason Latito, Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, Manolis, Nick Lang, Aaron, Robert Bund, and Peter Locke. You guys rock!